Now, if you like artist-based projects, and I'm talking about professional artists that do this for a career, then you're going to like Mendel. Now, Mendel is a collection of 7,770 NFTs at 0.1 ETH each. Now, what makes Mendel um, so good is the fact that the artist behind it, Remy. So I'm going to touch on the artist first because I feel like this is good and important for the background on why this project um, has a little bit more legs than anything else. So Remy is um, an artist that we're a French artist. He's living in LA currently. Now, Mendel is one of his creations. And the idea with uh, Mendel is the fact that he spent um, a lot of time crafting the idea of Mendel and has become one part of his kind of sort of portfolio of what he actually does. Now, when it comes down to Remy, he just doesn't do uh, things like that. He also does a bunch of commissioned works. He's a professional artist. This is some of the stuff that he's done for the Kennedy Space Center. So the idea, he's actually done some things for some prominent clients like NASA. And this is the thing, Remy's actually done artworks um, commissioned for NASA, so he's allowed to kind of use the NASA logo in some of the artworks, which just adds more weight to it because NASA isn't going to kind of just align with anyone. They're going to align with sort of brands and people that they feel feel kind of see fit. Now, when we jump over and check out Remy's Instagram page, what we can see here, he's got almost 70,000 followers on Instagram. And uh, it, it's exactly what you'd expect from an artist, just nice curated feed. Now, the... Where this kind of sits Remy um, as a whole, he's got an established career as an artist. Um, and I was able to kind of um, get some questions off to Remy and he was actually kind of uh, speak to them in his own words. So this is Remy's background. Yeah, so I am an artist for the past decade. Uh, I start to make painting with a character I love like Mickey, David Bowie, Joker, and to put them in a NASA suit, it's my way of take some element I love and to bring them to another dimension, to, to time and space. Now look, coming back to the project, what I want to touch on is the main protagonist of the project. We're talking about Mendel as the character, the little spaceman. Now, uh, I wanted to know from Remy where this came from and where the idea um, sort of originated and how it kind of ended up in this form because this um, character isn't just a digital character that he's kind of created. This is a character that is actually worked on. And that's when you end up getting these kind of images. So this is actually the sculpture that he's actually made. So Remy was kind enough to share me in this B-roll of them actually working on some Mendel sculptures, things like that, because they're actually doing these commissioned works. They're doing these things um, as, as a business and kind of selling these out. So this is where it kind of ties back in to uh, Mendel, the actual kind of character, not just in this physical form, but in the uh, kind of digital form. Now, the one thing that I want to touch on with Remy is ask where Mendel came from and what his kind of ideas were for it. When I make Mendel five years ago, um, it was very challenging for me to find the right way and to find the right material to express his personality, his feeling, and the emotion I want to put through Mendel and to share with, with the viewer. So we work in Paris with Maître d'Art to make in carbon and resin. Then we work with Atelier Goar, the best, the best uh, atelier in the world to, 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 to have the skill to make very unique way of making gold leaf to it. He give, the, give him this character, this, this warm feeling, something very precious. And this is why gold find meaning to it because with the gold and the palladium and all the elements we put to Mendel, the way we make it is unique. And the way we finish it with a special varnish on the top to, to make it not shiny, but we find a character to it, give Mendel more deep. So look, why am I bringing this to you? Let me just break down some of these stats for you. On Twitter, they've got sort of almost 12,000 followers. In their Discord, they've got uh, sort of the same amount. So essentially everyone on Twitter is following them on Discord. But where it comes down to this project is the fact that they've actually got a Genesis collection. Now the Genesis collection was 770. The mint price was 0.18. So this is sitting a good two to three X above the mint price. Now this Genesis collection isn't dead. It's not like they're trying to like revive it um, and trying to like extract more liquidity. Look at these sales, the activity here, two days ago, two days ago, it's actually had some movement. So the idea that is it's had some 
secondary sales. The uh, community around um, sort of Mendel, like the Genesis collection is there and you've got a community that's championing this project. Compound that with the fact that you've got someone like Remy who's actually got um, an established career as a commissioned artist, someone that's actually kind of made high quality uh, sort of physical sculptures before. He's got a team and he's actually executing. This just adds to it. So who is this project for? I don't think this is for those people that are just in it for that speculation, for that quick flip. I think this is for someone that can have an appreciation for what um, a, a career artist can do and has done and almost taking a bet on them. This uh, project is almost taking um, a, a almost a share of what they're going to become in the future. And this is actually a good segue in because um, it's almost strange. Well, it's not necessarily strange, but it, it's an interesting um, sort of chasm to jump when you go from being a physical real world artist into kind of the digital NFT space. And that's something I wanted to kind of put towards Remy, which was where does he see the future of art going and why would he have wanted to move into NFTs? And this is what he said. So I believe the future of art is going to be more immersive. I see so many museums in Barcelona, in Paris, in New York. You have some like a Van Gogh exhibition. It's completely immersive. And for me, I believe it's a new way of sharing art, sharing emotion and go beyond just a painting or a sculpture. It's to be in the painting. And I love this idea and definitely something we're going to make this year and to work on that. And Mendel is a perfect element. To, to tell a story to this new dimension of sharing emotion and art. Now look, to spin this up and make this a little bit of fun, the team from Mendel have actually given me five whitelists to give away. Now, instead of doing the typical drop a comment below or the Twitter giveaway, what we're actually doing is we're gonna be doing more of an interactive scavenger hunt type thing. So this is their um, loot pod. And the idea is you can uh, navigate this yourself. Now, what uh, you can then do is have a look around and then in one of these uh, kind of uh, sort of images, you will see a code. And then what you should do is you head into their Discord, um, links below, the links for all of this are below. And then if you head down there, there'll be something called Nate's Quest. What you do is put in that code. Now it is going to be a word and three letters afterwards. So um, that's what you should look for. Uh, look for it within there and then jump into their Discord, put that code in, and then if you get it the first five, we'll end up getting whitelisted. So that's just a little bit of fun. And this is another extension of what they're trying to do. They're trying to make art interactive and immersive in that sense. And I find like this is just a fun way to actually do a giveaway instead of just trying to run up some numbers. So it's a little bit of fun and kind of gets you to um, gets you more immersed in the actual project itself. So that is my kind of um, discovery and analysis and showing you why why I think this project is something a little bit different and it's for a different kind of collector, for a different kind of person. I understand that this may not work for those kind of that are in that flip mentality, for those that are looking to just run up um, sort of flip after flip and that that's their game. I think this is something a little bit longer term to hold and this will resonate with some people and the people that resonates with, this is going to tick all those boxes. Um, and I understand that's not gonna be for everyone. So hopefully you found value in this video. If you did, please consider hitting up that subscribe button. And while you're down there, also hit up the like button. As always, it's been a pleasure having you with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.